Brooklyn, as everyone knows, is a world-class city, and it deserves a world-class team playing in a world-class arena designed by a world-class architect. This is an extraordinary opportunity to do a mixed project and build a whole neighborhood practically from scratch. This will create construction jobs, it will create housing, it will create fun and excitement and reasons for people to, to come, not just to Brooklyn, but to come to New York. We are going to get the Nets to Brooklyn. If it's the last thing I do. We're talking development this week. Bruce Ratner says he will move the Nets into a proposed arena complex right in the heart of Brooklyn. There are those who are raising serious objections. Their homes will be taken by force and abusive eminent domain. And as you know, the purpose of eminent domain is to be used for public purposes, a highway, uh, open space, not to be used for the benefit of a private developer. I bought this apartment. All around here is a neighborhood that, that needs development, that you know I saw is going to have development. What I didn't think about when I had those thoughts was, well, yeah, it's going to be developed on my head. If Ratner wants to wipe out this whole block, you know, he's a capitalist. Why doesn't he approach each owner and say, do you want to sell? Right. It's a lot dirtier to just have the bully arm of the government go in and take people's properties. Right. It's a lot faster. I knocked on thousands and thousands of doors. People told me we need more schools, we've got a crisis in affordable housing. A lot of our children are engaging in antisocial behavior. No one told me that they needed an arena. <laughs> Nobody. This puts the strawberries on top of Junior's Cheesecake. This puts the Russian dressing on a great pastrami sandwich in Mill Basin Deli. It makes Brooklyn uh, the, uh, the place to be in America. Ladies and gentlemen, This is a great project. Do you know what really enervates me about this? 10,000 jobs. That's what they do every time fat cats want to come in and take property and move people out. We're giving you jobs. It's not the city saying, we have a plan for this area. Let's look for some developers. It's the developers saying, take this for me. We object when that developer owns that property right over there, which is adjacent to the condemnation site. Rip that down and keep those buildings. Yes! See, we don't want to go. <laughs> it's going to happen. No, it's not. It's illegal to have the government take it for a private developer. We cannot go now. You can stay here. You shouldn't go anywhere. You should stay home. Yeah. There's always going to be people that um, have different points of view, and I respect different points of view. It's honestly what makes this borough amazing. Sir, I'm not going to tolerate you. Gave it, you gave it. You gave an hour and a half to Forrest and Ratner. I'm not selling my home, so no offer makes sense to me. I want to fight this to the end, whatever that end is. They want to take your tax dollars for a basketball arena. Raise your hand. The money was clearly promised in the middle of a negotiation. That compromises the negotiation. Rice and dal and dandelion greens. I've moved into a neighborhood to raise a family in this neighborhood. If you can't fight for your community and your home and your neighbors, uh, you're really probably not going to fight for anything. I don't know. It's like she needs so much attention and, it's, you know, every time there's a decision, we feel downcast and then we pick ourselves up and hope against hope. There is one apartment that remains in that building free. It's the one with the sign on it. 